हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक टू माय न्यू लेक्चर ऑन इवेंट हैंडलिंग सो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट इवेंट हैंडलिंग इन ए डब्ल्यू टी बेसिकली इट इज ऑल अबाउट द लिस्नर क्लासेस एंड आई विल डिस्कसिंग हियर बटर इवेंट एंड एक्शन लिस्नर सो इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास विल डिस्कस ऑल अदर इवेंट हैंडलिंग क्लासेज एंड फंक्शन ऑल्सो सो बेसिकली फॉर बटन वी implement action listener so action listener listener interface is required for the button handling button event so we have given here this line class uh, my button listener so this is the name of class this is your defined class and implement action listener action listener is the uh, is the interface which is required to implement uh, while uh, doing the button events so an interface basically you know the interface is a group of method that must be supplied and uh, in interface we define the uh, prototype of the different uh, function which is used in the derived classes so when you say implements you are promising to supply those methods so means uh, the method prototype which is defined inside the interface that is implemented and uh, means we are uh, supplying these methods to direct class so this is all about the uh, uh, listener this is all about the uh, interface action listener so uh, now i am coming on the program uh, this is the simple prototype and this is the syntax of the uh, button listener so we have been this button one this is a, a single button we have given here so when we will execute the program we will write here init public void init and inside init we will write p1 dot add action listener and and inside the bracket inside the argument we will write new button new my button listener so uh, uh, you will see this uh, uh, this line on the um, the help of the program copy program and uh, this is the class my button listener this is class my button listener this is the user defined class and this is implemented by the action listener so here we have to write uh, action perform function so uh, i will explain this uh, action listener by the complete program so better uh, it will uh, be Uh, better to explain this program and this uh, concept by the program so you can see here we have been this class button public class button and it is extended by the applet so we are using the help of applet so here uh, the class button one is extended by the applet and we are writing here implement action listener so uh, Uh, we have three button b1 b2 and b3 are three button and we have been init function uh, so inside the button class uh, we are running init function init means uh, just like a constructor function and inside this uh, init function we have three different buttons red green and blue so uh, these three button are defined here B1 equals to new button red, B2 equals to new button green, and B3 equals to new button blue. So first of all, we uh, add action listener to each button. With e with each button, we will uh, having one action listener. So B1 dot add action listener, B2 dot add action listener, and B3 dot add action listener. So B1, B2, and B3 are three button, or we are adding here add action listener. This why why we are adding here this. because the same class is implemented by the action listener so that's why we have written here this keyword this means the, uh, the object which is defined inside the class means suppose uh, this is the button one class and we are defining the object of same class inside the class so uh, by uh, with help of this uh, keyword so this is the object of this button class and button class is the implemented by the action listener means button one is the action listener class so that's why we have written here uh, add action listener so with uh, with all three buttons we have added the action listener and now we are adding but these three buttons uh, in this button one class means in this applet so button one is applet also button one is, is action listener also because of we are implementing but button one by action listener as well as we are extending button one by applet so we are adding button one b1 b2 and b3 with applet also 
and these three buttons are um, ha, uh, associated with the uh, action mission also so it means uh, button 1 button 2 and button 3 will see the event means suppose we are uh, clicking on the button 1 uh, then it will feel the uh, event it will feel the uh, double click over the button 1 so you can see here the next program in case of the button event uh, in case of the action distance we we should uh, we have to use action perform function public void action perform action event ae so uh, this is uh, compulsory in case of the action listener when we are using here action listener then we will use uh, pub, uh, public void action perform or in case of item listener uh, or in case of the mouse listener so we will write here in case of mouse listener we will write here public void mouse moved mouse double clicked mouse uh, released so uh, different mouse related function will write here so uh, in this case in case of the action listener we will use public void it's the single function that was public void action perform and uh, this is um, applet program that's why we have written here applet code button one underscore dot class and it's width and height so this button one example this will be uh, compiled and this will be converted into class five so uh, when we will execute it on applet viewer then uh, it will read this button one dot class because this java file basically it was button one dot java when we will compile it it will convert it into button one dot class so the button one dot class will be used in update viewer or in browser. So uh, uh, also uh, we write here import java dot awt because this is awt program button uh, button class uh, comes under awt and uh, import java dot awt dot event action listener comes under event uh, package and import java dot applet because we are using here applet so now coming on the action perform and the argument of action perform is action event a like public void pane we have the argument graphics t and public static void pane we have the argument uh, string a uh, same way we have the argument action event e a e in case of the action perform so here we have defined the object s uh, we have taken object class its object is s uh, so s equals to ae dot get source so ae means action event so action event uh, the object of action event is ae ae dot get source so we are getting the source of, of the event uh, as we have double click then it will uh, record that uh, event also then in the next line we have written here if s equals to b1 means as uh, this is object so uh, the activity which we have we have done on button that will be uh, transferred to s and s equals to b1 suppose we have clicked on suppose we have clicked on b1 so uh, the event suppose we have clicked on b1 button so um, the action event a will record a a e dot get source will record b1 and b1 will be transferred on s so if uh, b1 equals to b1 means uh, s having b1 and uh, we are comparing s with the b1 then set background color dot red because the name of button one is red so it will convert its background set background background of the skin will convert it into red as the name of the button button is red and background will be um, converted into red color set background color dot red and else if s is double equals to s equals to uh, b2 uh, so suppose we have clicked on b2 button and uh, get source has recorded b2 b2 is transferred on s as s means b2 b2 equals to b2 then in that case set background color dot green so second button is the second button is green button so automatically the color uh, set background will convert the color into green and otherwise uh, uh, else we have written here set background color dot blue otherwise we have pressed press the third button blue button so uh, it will convert the background color dot blue so this is the action perform function and this action perform function is uh, we will write this action perform function in case of the action listener so, so same thing is uh, given here so uh, uh, b1 dot add action listener new button 
listener so you can write this this way also b1 means button 1 we have defined one button b1 dot add, add action listener same way uh, we have mentioned here b1 dot add action listener this this means same class is the action listener class but here in this example the different uh, we have a different class which is implemented by the action, action listener button listener class this is a different class implemented by the action listener so we have two separate class so uh, we are writing the object of this button listener class so we have mentioned here new button listener otherwise we will write here this class if same class is implemented by action listener then we will write here this uh, this keyword means object of the uh, action listener class and inside this class we have given here public void action perform action event e so and we simply we have displayed the message so the function action perform is same way as we have written here uh, action uh, public void action perform action event a so this is compulsory and action listener listens uh, someone hitting the enter key so uh, as we have uh, entered we have pressed on b1 button b2 button b3 button so it will record uh, it will record the hitting of the key and action listener required this method action perform method and you can we can use it or you can use get text to get the text so sometimes this get text function also be used you know, to uh, record the uh, the key and text listener also be used sometimes uh, action listener for tag during that get text function we we can use text text listener tax listener so it is same as the action listener action listener basically for related for the button and tax listener is related for the uh, key uh, key press key press or tax event so get tax is uh, the function which is used in case of the tax listener listen any uh, kind of the key key um, pressing and tax listener required this method so in case of the tax listener we require public void tax value change and in case of action, action listener we require action perform function and in case of tax listener we have to use tax value change tax event e so the structure of the program structure of the function is same in all type of the listener you can see you will see in the uh, next uh, coming lectures the uh, pattern of the event handling almost same in all type of the event either it is uh, button event or uh, checkbox event or mouse event window event so for the different event we have the same uh, pattern of the program so uh, after practicing on event handling you will find that in the pattern uh, so this is one more program where we have three buttons in this, in this program in the program of uh, this program you have seen this program the next program is the um, uh, I have given the next program in the same uh, structure in the same pattern as as the previous one so we have mentioned here import java.awt import java.awt.event and import java.applet so we require all three uh, packages here then we have mentioned here class button type of class and extend from the applet and implement from access listener you can see the previous one also uh, extend from applet and implement from access listener and the name of class is button one and inside this we have three buttons here also we have given three button button v1 v2 and v3 and we have one string message and which is initially back blank and then we are writing here public void init so you can see in the previous program we have public void event function and then we will uh, define uh, all three button so uh, here also we will define all three button v1 equals to v2 equals to v3 equals to v1 equals to new button yes new button no and new button cancel so we have three button yes no and cancel and now we will add three button v1 add v1 add v2 add v3 so where we will add these button we will add these button on applet because this button demo class is extended from the applet so we will write here uh, simply we'll, we are writing here add v1 so uh, by default it will be added on applet mm, and this this is also updated on applet and again we are writing here v1 dot add action listener this this we are writing here v1 dot add action listener this because the same class is the action listener class 
button demo is extended implemented from the action listener class so we are writing here b1 dot as a action listener this this means same class same class the object of the same class defined inside the object by this keyword so same class is defined as a action listener that's why we have written here b1 dot add action listener this while in this snapshot you can see here b1 dot add action action listener we are giving the object of the different class so because the different class my button uh, listener is implemented by the action listener if same class uh, the init function which is having uh, uh, we are not mentioned here class suppose the class uh, the mention class suppose you mention any class of init then uh, and the, the class is implemented by action listener then we will write here this keyword in that case we write here this b1 dot add action listener this so but uh, we have different class so we, we are writing here uh, the object of different class means my button listener class so new my button listener class so it means we are defining here object so so this is the two different program and here we have added uh, the action listener add action listener and in case of the mouse event we will write add mouse listener mouse motion listener item listener in case of the checkbox we will write uh, add item listener in case of um, uh, key event tax event tax listener so um, different listener we have we have been different type of a listener so accordingly we will use the listener but in this lecture i am uh, explaining you the button event only button event only action listener i am discussing about only action listener here <laughs> So now this is the init function and now we require one more function that that would be uh, public void action perform as you can see the previous program. The first function is the NIT function in button one class and the second function is the public void action perform action event A. So same way in this program we will have to uh, mention one more program that is public void action perform action event A. So first of all we will write here a string s equals to ae dot get action command so we are writing here a uh, we are writing here we are not using here object in the previous one we have mentioned here object s equals to ae dot get source so uh, in that case uh, get source will return the object so object means suppose we have clicked on button one then its object is b1 so it will return b1 it will return b1 on s variable because s is a object type but here in this program we are using a string variable we are not using any object so in case of the object it will return the string of the um, button which we have pressed so ae dot get action command a, we are writing here a not we are writing here ae dot get source is not using uh, we are not using ae dot get source we are using ae dot get action command while in the previous program we are using ae dot get source ae dot get source will return the object of the button on which we are uh, we have clicked while in this one uh, ae dot get action command will return the string so uh, string uh, suppose we have pressed on yes button so its string is yes y e s so it will return yes ae dot get action command will return y e s so yes it uh, copied here in s and s dot equals as uh, yes so we are comparing s uh, with uh, y e s string so already we have yes on s variable so we are comparing it if both are the same then message you have pressed on yes variable. yes so initially message is blank and now uh, we have um, uh, copied this message on message variable you have pressed yes otherwise if uh, s equals to no suppose we have pressed no then get a get action command will return and no no on uh, string variable as so as dot equals no so the message will be recorded you have pressed no otherwise you have pressed cancel because the third button is cancel button this is the third button yes no cancel so in case it will uh, it will record this message and then finally 
in in public action platform we have a repaid function and this repaid function will run paid function always the paid function will be executed by repaid function so uh, repaid will uh, execute this paid function and inside the paid function we are writing here single statement g dot drawstring message so where message we have which we have uh, recorded here suppose we have pressed on yes and then uh, message will be you have pressed yes so this message will be displayed at this 6 comma 100 uh, coordinate so x is uh, 6 and y is 100 so at this 6 comma 100 position uh, will have this message you have pressed yes so you can execute this program and when you will execute this program this will display that same message so this is very simple program you have to understand only two things the program which we will start the action listener program uh, we have to write extend update and implement action listener so we have to notice these two uh, the first of all our class should be it would be uh, extended from the applet as well as implemented from the action listener and the second thing we have to write init and then we have to uh, define three button and um, these buttons will be added on applet and these buttons this is the these three lines are very important these three buttons uh, should be added with the action listener add action listener we have to run this function b1 dot add action listener add action listener function we have to execute and this is the uh, argument of uh, action listener then we must have to notice that we have to mention this action perform function otherwise the event handling will not happen and uh, its argument is action event and here we will write either we will use string s equals to a dot get action command or object or otherwise we will have to write object as equals to a dot get source so we can write both we can write uh, any one of these two statements and then accordingly we will write the program and then we will write the paid function so in the previous program we are not using any paid function we are directly we are converting the background here so we there is no need to write here paid function so this is the program this is the second program so you can see some more fact also so um, listeners are uh, very important part of this uh, AWT programming listeners are interfaces not classes so uh, we can implement the class by action listener and interface is a group of method that must be supplied when you say implement you are promising to supply those methods means all the method which is defined path prototype which is defined inside the uh, in interface that will be supplied and the second thing we must have to write button as we have defining the button so button dot add action listener and then we will write the object of the listener class so uh, if the different class then we have to write the object of different class if the same class if same class is the listener class then we have to write here this and action listener must have an action perform function so as we have uh, done this um, function as we have uh, write the code for this function in the um, previous like uh, previous uh, program so action perform action event e action event is the argument so we can write it public void action perform action event e so this is the um, uh, function also so this is program and this way we can see the button so when we will click on the button then it will show this message uh, because uh, directly when we will click on the button it will execute action perform function action event e so it will display this function uh, status sort status uh, outs will be displayed so this this is you can see here as we have clicked on this this message is displayed so uh, it is displayed on the status bar so it uh, status will display on status uh, suppose we are displaying on title then we will write, write uh, accordingly we have to change the program so on the title so this is the program and this is again second program of the um, uh, action listener and you can also use this uh, action listener you can also run this program using frame also so in this program we have been one frame uh, my frame suppose class name is the my frame and extend frame implement action listener extend frame so rather than extending from applet we are extending it from frame so in the previous one we are extending from the applet class name extend public class class name extend frame so here uh, here we have applet and but in this program we are extending from the frame and implementing the action listener this is this is same 
means uh, implementation will not change only this uh, this is changed uh, in place of the applet we are writing here frame then we have one button button sw and um, class my frame so its constructor is my frame so in the previous program we are not using any constructor because it is applet in case of applet we use the constructor uh, init init function is used as a constructor but here we have to write here constructor my frame the name of class is my frame and constructor name will be same as the name of the class and super super means base class constructor we are running base class constructor so base class is the frame so test button will be passed to the frame constructor uh, by uh, with help of the super keyword we are running the constructor of the frame class and uh, it will be the title of the frame and size of the frame is 200 by 200 and as the group uh, this is button object as the group equals to new button hello world is the button and we have to add this button when we we'll write this add as the group, then it will be added on the frame while in the previous program when we will add the button b1 add b2 add b3 b3 then they will be added on applet so this is the difference and as the group dot add action listener uh, this so this is this statement is same so in case of applet we also use add action as this and while in case of the frame we are using this add action listener this so you can see here b1 dot add action listener this while in this case sw dot add action listener they both statement are same okay so uh, now we have been this show function so we can use this show function uh, also and uh, this is public void action perform action event in o so this function is also same as the previous one and uh, inside this we have written here system dot exit so as we have clicked on this test button it will display hello world message and then uh, it will exit from the uh, window and uh, this way we can use frame as well as we can use applet and uh, we have not defined here so function so we can also mention the so function we can also define the so function so this is all about the button event uh, in next lecture i will discuss about uh, other event handling function mouse event checkbox event item listener uh, mouse listener mouse motion listener window listener so we have different type of the listener different different many different listeners so we'll take uh, one more in next lecture so in this lecture i have defined you i have explained you about action listener and button event so i hope that you understand all these facts of the button listener uh, sorry action listener and button event handling and this is very important when uh, um, um, part of this AWT and you must have to execute this program then you will find the output and uh, the real feel of the event and you, uh, you will get after running this program so thank you very much for listening this uh, lecture so